Well, rain, rain, go away. That's all it's been doing all the live long day. It's starting to let up. It is about, what's that say, 11.21 on the 12th of January. Run! Everything's parked and setting pretty because it's too damn wet to work. It thawed out again. It is like, I don't know, 60 out here. So you can even see the yard. So we're fixing. Got all of our one the small crew junk drug back into the yard here. Got my big old shovel. Just to give you guys an idea of how big this machine is, you don't really get the the uh, <laughs> the uh, scope of the size of these things until you compare them. There's my building. There's my shop. Now it will go in. I just don't have the length. I don't think to to stick it in there. I think it I think it'll fit if we pull the boom up. But we're uh, Marvy's in there fixing my. Uh, fixing my uh, bucket. Me and Steve were out looking at timber earlier and it got rained out, so we're gonna go back and try and cruise a piece, but now uh, there's one of the trailers in there. Marky's fixing some lights. So, what are you doing, Marky? Fixing wire. Smile, you're on candid camera, Marky. I'll smile as it works. Oh, Marky, you did it. Look at that. <gasps> wow, what a good boy. You're not so retarded after all, are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's politically incorrect. So I, oops, yeah, I know. <laughs> special, special. You're a special Billy. Yeah. So here's the big fat shovel. And here's the boom on the big fat shovel. And here's my grudge doors. They're 16. Or No, what are these doors? Uh, 14? Yeah, they're 14. It's the ceiling. So you could see that cab. I mean, it'll go into there, but it's just barely. So, but uh, here's this motley crew, huh, Jerry? What the hell are you doing here? Wow. Oh. Wow. There's Mr. Opie and Mr. Dave and Mr. Ryan. Yeah. Bunch of chuckleheads. <laughs> Look what he's doing again. He's making smoke. That's what he does. Fills up the garage with smoke. This is welding. Hang on. Stop welding for a second there. That's hot. That's hot. Isn't it? That's hot. You might want to stick your tongue on it. See if it's hot. What are you doing, Marv? Explain what you're doing. Oh, that's nice. What are you? I'm doing what I usually do. Fixing my junk. Fix your broken junk. <laughs> so Marvy's got a, a a welding situation going here. Yeah, actually, the, this was broke completely off up here like that. Yeah. So my bucket done broke. And uh, he uh, brought it in here and he's, he's fixing it up for me. Excellent. It looks like an old one. Well, I guarantee you that. You got her all preheated. We'll break her again. Where'd you have to preheat that stuff to? For this, 500. 500 degrees. You have to preheat that. And, uh, 500 degrees, and then the, well, it, what, what's that? 90,000 pound wire, ain't it? Something like that? I can't remember what. 7018. It's 7018 wire? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he's using the MIG, but uh, it's a. Uh, he's using that 70, basically the equivalent of 7018 wire. What is that, 35,000? 7018 wire, that's what it says. Yeah. So that's basically for all you guys that don't know your welding stuff, that's uh, that's uh, what, 70,000 pounds per square inch? 70,000 yeah, pounds. So that ought to hold her. Anyway, here's the other thing we were into. We got to fix this thing here, too. Uh, where'd that light go? Oh, I'll get it. I wanted to show everybody this here. Pretty neat. That thing's right, huh? We get these uh, fluorescent work lamps from, uh, from Parts Masters. 
They recharge. They're nice. They're cordless light. They work good. I want to get everybody a picture of this. I got this on video the other day. Here's the spindle that we cut off. The guy comes up and does it. He has a patented system. Um, so they, they make the spindles, but there's that spindle that got ruined. The bearings went out. He cuts that off. He didn't want me to video it for copyright reasons, which is fine. But, uh, so in here, I don't know if you can see it, we had to wall a little patch and a backing plate on that stupid emergency room, uh, emergency brake setup. The backing plate was folding because it was, we just put a patch in it for till next time. But here's this guy's uh, Liberty Welding out of Pittsburgh, PA, and they sell their uh, patented axle tube jig and everything. I'll tell you what, that cat is impressive. Took them about two hours to do that. So, cost me about 1100 bucks with the uh, spindle and labor and him coming up a couple hours, you know, hour and a half each way. But he did a really nice job. Well, the new spindle right on that. All butt welded, guarantees the weld. So that rear end in this truck about 3500 bucks. So, I mean, it would have been better if it hadn't disintegrated, but that's a good deal, you know? So, saves me putting a new rear end in the truck. It works really well, so. Um, so we're gonna do the wheel bearings on the other side of it, just to, as a precaution, so. Uh, whatever. So. All right, well, hopefully the rain a lot off. We got a piece of timber right across the street. We're gonna go cruise. So. Bob. What do you think? Is it gonna work? Oh, well, that won't break again. But no, that won't break again. It's down in here. Is, I'm gonna redo all this. It needs done too. Here yep. Here. Yep. Might as well while it's here. Yippers, might as well. When you get good at that, Marv, you can. I got one up at the uh, Venice that looks just like Ringing. Really? I'll do it with this. I'll guarantee. Mine's it. laying actually on the deck plate. I took it right off. So what the good. the whole thing? The it grapple. Easier to put. We don't have to it broke. It yeah, it hurt the whole pole. That was on the one we fixed over at Butchie's. Both of them been broken. Over on the John Deere. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know you had a broken yeah, gravel. Yes, oh, shit. Well, we fixed that one in here. That hasn't broke. Yeah, yeah I keep, we keep back up welding it, but it just it's, it needs brought in here. It needs to be ground out real good. You've been able, is it broke clear up like that one? It's broke clear off. Oh, fuck. Yeah, right there. Same place. I know that. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, they don't uh, de lemons hard on them. You're going to drive that other side up? Yeah. Touch it up more? That's crap? Well, here I am, yeah. Oh, well. It sounds like a hair dryer. Are you young? Oh. It is. That's what it is, a hair dryer. Heat guy. You want, oh, you want, back here going this hair. Did he find do, this short? Do you guys want a nice hair dressing session? <laughs> yeah, Marky, yeah, fix yeah, you up. Yeah. yeah we'll light it on fire. And then, yeah, I see that. Yep. Well, his, his hair's all wet from standing. We, in could, we could light Brian's beard up. Yeah. <laughs> but, that one's super cuts. <laughs> <laughs> super cuts. Super cuts. Super cuts. Yes, sir. That's, we might do that. If we can't go logging, let's get into hair dressing. Huh? Yeah. How about it? Mm -hmm. My wife knows how to cut hair. That's right. Yeah. So do I. Just get a pair of scissors or a chainsaw. Yeah. Well, your kind of haircut, don't. I just do my own. I don't think Ryan would like your kind of haircut. haircut. Yeah, do the old reach around, boy. Yeah. I've been leaving a little bit on since it's pulled out. Yeah. Ben's got a Ben's got a beautiful head of hair. <laughs> I got that one on camera. The glare. The glare. Oh, oh, oh put it on. Ben's got a beautiful set of head of hair. Yeah. And he buzzes that sucker right down the plane. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You should give me that and then I'll glue it on. <laughs> yeah, make, oh, that'd be good. Make a little tat. Yeah, what, what do they call it? A toupee. Yeah, a toupee. Yeah. Did you see that on, um, what was it on, uh, who was it? Not Kimmel, but the other guy. Oh, the guy who used to be on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, did you see that when he was sitting there with him and Jimmy Fallon, he's on the show there. It was before the election, and he's sitting there, and he says to Trump, he says, can I just mess up your hair, please? He says, yeah, all right. <laughs> it's really his hair. He says, you didn't see that? Oh, funny. He told the old reporters off yesterday, old CNN. That was good. His hair plugs. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. was picking on that Maui Challenge guy. Yep, yeah, that was funny. Yeah. All right, well, say ta-ta, everyone. Ta-ta.
We're gonna challenge. Uh, we're gonna challenge this cylinder, or what? Or no, take on the challenge? The challenges going on. I know. Which challenge are we doing? I don't know. I told no, Cuppies. To I know. Well, we could pull. It. I got the packing kit for that cylinder in the in the in the office in the orifice. It's right in my orifice. So you can see that's wet. The big challenge is gonna get the nut off. Well, it won't be that bad. We got two excavators sitting out there. Take that nut off. I'm gonna go find them. We got two. excavators. You got two excavators. I'll get the nut off. Yeah, but I want to see. You sit, you sit one bucket on one end of it with a big old rod through it, and then you put your 47 and a half foot pipe. I'm and pretty confident it will take it off with the air compressor on the service truck. You really think? Yeah. You think that, that earthquake that, will do that? That runs 180 pounds. This runs 140. Well, is it set to relieve? You might be able to turn it off. Ain't you got a regulator on it? Mark, you can't put shoes. It's 140. It's 140. Can't get you a set. No, you man. That's a new style. One boot it, tied, one pant leg like down, one boot untied. Yeah, he's a, he is a fashion. Stand yeah. out there and do a little modeling. Come on. You can't afford shoes. Come on, do, show Tater. Show Tater. Look at that. Come on, spin around. Spin around, Marv. Oh, he is. Oh, we got. Hey, anybody got that? I'm too. Oh. Yeah. Huh? Look at that. Look, look, oh! <laughs> Woo! Oh man! Hey, we need to get that. Uh, we need to get that song on. I'm too sexy for the cat. That too sexy turn, for the cat. Well, baby. <laughs> your turn, Don. I said, oh. said your daddy have something. You are. You are. I'll tell you what. You are a fashion plate, no doubt. I must say, you look a lot better with that helmet on your face. Yeah, you got to put it down now. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. The spitting that chaw on that make it stronger? Yeah. Makes it. It cures it. Do <laughs> you think it's hot? Go ahead, spit it all on there. That's going to stink. Ugh. Oh, ho, 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 fried chaw. Mm -mm. That's good stuff. Look at that sucker bee that you roll over. Man, that stinks. <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll be peeing on it. That would stink. Yeah, that would stink. So, anyway. All right, let's say ta-ta. We'll leave the fine folks of the world alone for a while. Ta-ta. Let them catch their breath from our brilliance. Yeah. <laughs> All right, see ya. Ta-ta.